going to talk about a little bit of server training today and why it's necessary and who does it, how it's done, why it's done, and most importantly, how it benefits you at the bottom line. So when we talk about servers, what do you think of? First thing I think of right now is who did you hire <laughs> and what's their talent level and how fast can I get them trained and get them back onto the floor? Or do we even have any? Right. Who's serving? Who's serving? Maybe the buster's now the server. Right. How do I get him up to speed? Did you, did you train him? No, oh, the training. Who trains? We've been feeding our employees to the wolves. So we hire, we ask if they have any experience. They may say yes, they may say no. We just put them on the floor. They follow somebody who's in the weeds already. Maybe for a day. Maybe. Yeah, or a couple hours during a lunch shift. And, and then, then we let them go. Dinner. Yeah. And then they falter, make mistakes. Customers aren't happy. Neither are the other servers. And then neither is the management. And then they quit and we start the process start all over again. So how do we fix that? Well, I think we should start it by actually putting down the responsibilities, putting them down on a piece of paper. Quick little manual. It doesn't have to be bound Easy. anything. It can mm -hmm. just be what's expected of you. What's your job description? Mm -hmm. What's your attire? What you look like? Is everybody in the same uniform? Is everybody in the same color? Is it clean? <laughs> Does it look like the apron was worn on Saturday night, crunkled into a ball in the back of the car, and their next shift wasn't until Thursday, and mm -hmm. they pulled it out, threw it through the dishwasher for that little welfare wash, mm -hmm. and now it's ready to go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what are we presenting? Right. So, so it's just like some basic expectations just to get them started. What is your job? What is a server? What do you do? Sell food. Oh, you sell food. It's what a else? sales job. It's a sales job. It's not a service, just a service job. I can take an order, but I'd rather sell you something because at the end of the day, I'm making money and I'm making business money. In our operations, we need to increase our average tickets continuously. We can't do that if we have people that are just taking orders. Well, we also need to increase our foot traffic. How do we get those people that are coming in to come back again? Loyalty. And what are we selling? Why come here? Why come here? How many restaurants are in the area of any other restaurant? You know, right before the pandemic, I said I mentioned this whole thing about customer experience being like the top priority. And then the pandemic happened. <laughs> and things got a little wonky there for a bit. But as we're coming back out on this side of it, especially with our, our current labor issues, we're finding that more and more people who are going out to dinner want that customer experience again. Right. We're going back to the steps of service. Steps of service. Steps of service. And who better to teach them that than people that have already doing it, right? So you don't necessarily have to have somebody like myself or yourself or an owner from someplace else come in or a consultant. It really can be within yourself. We're not teaching anything new here. It could be something as simple as just having a conversation like this. But even when we do that, when we go in and we help them with steps of service, who's the ongoing trainer? Because we go in and we dock maybe two to three times. But after that, who's maintaining this, right? This is the management's responsibility. You need a level of accountability within, within your home. Right. So you have your manual per se, as to what is expected of you. And within that, we can help with that supplement of what does the steps of service look like? Because when you're working with the servers, the first thing you want to do is not offend them, right? We don't want to talk to your servers. We want to speak with them. Or you want to speak with them, not at them. How do you do that? And what does it mean? So you ask them, what's the first thing that you do when you walk in and why? And how do you look at that? Why is that important? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, we are selling that experience because what separates me from that restaurant down the street, we all sell a burger, we all sell the same Budweiser, we all sell the same pumpkin lager this time of year. Why come here? It's me, it's the server, it's the atmosphere. Because I either knew your name, I knew what you'd like, I paid a close attention to your allergies, is the devil in the details. Customer experience. So talk about those steps of service and why they're important, but walk through them from start to finish, from the time the customer walks across the parking lot to the time they walk back out and everything in between and why you do it. Can I change one word? Can I change two words? Instead of saying ma'am, can I say miss? 90 year old ladies are gonna love it. And ladies that are 20 
are fine with miss as well. Don't call me a ma'am, right? So can I change just a word? If I approach you at a table, there's five 20 something year old guys, I can say, hey guys. If I walk up to a couple celebrating something and I say, hey guys, it's not gonna happen. It's all about how I feel, how I'm making that customer feel. So we talk about those steps.